I offer my humble pranam at the lotus feet of Bhagavan Sri Satya Sai Baba. So welcome to video lecture on microcontroller and embedded system laboratory. In the last videos, uh, just I gave some introduction about embedded system. Then we need something called sensors, microcontroller and actuators. So in this video, I'm going to concentrate on uh, LPC 2148 microcontroller board because if you want to do experiment, we require hardware as well as we require the supporting uh, integrated development menu environment that is IDE. Uh, therefore, so we know that we are talking about this particular uh, lab, a microcontroller and embedded system laboratory. This is part A syllabus. We are, I'm going to concentrate on uh, part B programs. Here we have totally uh, eight experiments. The first experiment we know that uh, display low world message using internal URT, the DC motor, then stepper motor, ATC, uh, triangular, and square wave form generation using that. And there'll be XK pad, then there'll be LED, all those things. Therefore, if we want to implement, suppose if you want to go for a part A, the just your software sufficient, some kill micro vision ID sufficient. Okay, it won't require any hardware components. But if you want to implement this experiment, say definitely we require kill micro vision ID as well as we require supporting hardware also. Then we have to connect hardware with microcontroller, means external devices with microcontroller, then only we can able to perform the required operations. Okay, and now just uh, what I'm going to do is, and I just I will show you that particular uh, thing. Now here we know that, say so there'll be microcontroller, and there'll be a breadboard, breadboard and there'll be some LEDs there. Suppose I'm going to ask you to interface LED to microcontroller. Yes, it requires one pin. Just I'm using only two ways because they'll be anode and cathode. Therefore, we have to go for separate external uh, board as well as some other uh, discrete components. Then we require some supporting wires. The wires something like this. We have some cables like this, okay. Then with the help of all these things, we have to connect by using the basic circuits. Then only we can able to write a program, we can implement. Then suppose I'm gonna ask you to interface uh, with the keyboard interface. So this is a, we can call it as a matrix keyboard. This is a matrix keyboard. Okay, it's a matrix keyboard interface. Uh, interface matrix keyboard with the, uh, what do you call, microcontroller. In the same way, I'm gonna ask you to interface with the, uh, interface with that is seven segment display so seven segment display multiplex seven segment display uh, sometime i'm going to ask you to interface with uh, what you call that is lcd okay lcd or it may be the keyboard maybe something like this it's a matrix keyboard or it may be something called a buzzer this is a buzzer okay this is buzzer or it may be like push button switch this is a a push button a switch or it may be what do you call seven segment uh, display then there'll be something called relay but the, the problem is you must know the hardware that is fine then we have to connect by using some sort of uh, wise okay according to the required uh, circuit diagram then we have to write the appropriate software but in this case it requires somewhat uh, some extra time Therefore, to make it simple, to implement all this experiment, actually, uh, we are using a, just a one single board. That board contains all these components. Using that particular board, we can do everything. Using that board, we can do all possible experiment. The board is like this. So this is the board. Okay, now this is the board. Is the board so here using this board we can able to perform all uh, experiment uh, suppose here we know that uh, this is our uh, microcontroller this is lpc 
2148 microcontroller it is a 32 bit uh, microcontroller uh, this is the main art of your uh, embedded system without this we can't do anything so this is the main the brain of your embedded system or heart of your uh, embedded system therefore now here we have seven segment display it's a multiplex the seven segment display and this is lcd lcd and then here we have something called uh, what do you call this is uh, uh, relay so there will be a relay here there will be this is a relay okay then this is a dc motor here a stepper motor you can interface stepper motor you can interface uh, dc motor and we have push button switches here uh, we have push button switch okay we have push button switches so, like this and uh, then we have what do you call uh, we have uh, this one that is pot the potentiometer then buzzer is also there then temperature sensor lm uh, lm this is a temperature sensor lm uh, 35 lm 35 then we have matrix keyboard this is actually matrix keyboard see this is a matrix keyboard matrix keyboard so whatever the experiment we have we can able to implement all the experiment using a this single board okay therefore that is there'll be lcd interface seven segment display interface Okay, there'll be a port interface, there'll be buzzer interface, then there'll be matrix uh, keyboard interface. Okay, then after matrix keyboard, then what we have, we have something push button interface. You can connect with a push button and they make some provision for external interrupt also. So here we have some external uh, interrupt. We have external interrupt also. So this is our uh, external interrupt. This is external interrupt. This is a reset button. This is reset button. Okay, then we have a stepper motor, DC motor interface. And we know that the, actually if you want to interface with the DAC, here also we know that uh, inside the LPC2148, there'll be on chip, the built-in uh, DAC is there as well as ADC is there. Therefore, with the help of this board, we can able to implement all experiment, whatever the things we have in our uh, uh, syllabus. So that is the beauty of this board. Therefore, in future, I'm going to explore all this experiment uh, with hardware. First, I'm going to explain the architecture of the hardware. Then there'll be program. Then I'm going to give the uh, demo also. So it's really very interesting. Therefore, if you want to do any experiment, say so definitely we have to go for software as well as hardware means we need some component. Okay, so thanks for uh, watching. So don't forget to like, subscribe. For more videos, you can visit my website, sinvashati.com. So thank you.